Noel, I understand that you just finished the book. So tell me about the title, some of what it's about. Yeah, the title that we came up with, I think, is uh, I think very um, excited about it. It's Where the Cross Meets the Street, oh. What Happens When God is in the Middle of a Neighborhood. So you've heard me give this talk around the country a yes. few times. and. Yeah. So yeah, using the, the framework of the, of the cross and how much that's rooted in a more contextual theology for our communities, I think that's, that's yeah. really uh, the basis of the book, but wrapped in my story. And so yeah. what, I, what I talk about in, in, in the intro is that uh, you can't just, as a, as a Mexican-American, you can't just tell a, a you know, you can't just right. tell a, uh, or, or a reason or a, or a you know theology without wrapping it in your own story and yeah, so that's what I've tried to do and uh, yeah very interesting process to kind of reflect back on all the ways God has shaped sure. my heart to do what I'm doing your heart and also it sounds like you tell stories from CCDA from around the country well rooted well. Uh, a lot in my uh, in my your, experience in yeah. Little Village yeah uh, of course know, 100 thousand Mexican American uh, right. descent uh, of folks and uh, and so what uh, what happened 25 years ago when I moved into that neighborhood mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, just uh, living among the community and uh, uh, and really just uh, loving people, trying to see how we could mobilize folks to think about what it would mean to uh, make a difference in that neighborhood, seeing the neighborhood flourish. And, right. and uh, so that's, that's, that was a Beautiful. great experience. And I'm sure, you know, I've been thinking a lot about the faith that our people have. Yeah. I remember years ago someone saying to me, evangelism is so different in our communities mm -hmm. because it's not about teaching people to go from not believing in right, God right. to believing in God. Exactly. They all believe. Sure. The question is, what does it mean to believe? Yeah. What difference does it make to believe? Who is this God that we believe in? Yeah. You know, and what does this God have to do with us? Right. You know? Yeah. So I think, um, I just, I can't wait to read this, the the depth, you know, I know some of the stories with you, but mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. the sort of the depth of that encounter with God, yeah, with yeah. your, with the people of, of watching that transformation in them. Well, yeah, th that idea of, um, of, of really um, telling the, the story from the perspective yeah. of the margins and saying, in fact, that is the center of God's concern and yeah. how, how that revitalizes uh, people's own view of themselves. So. Yeah, and then, and then, you know, in my book, the cross becomes prominent because I, I think yeah. that's the greatest example of God rooting sal his salvation mm -hmm. for everybody mm -hmm. on this despicable, you know, uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, cross. That's, that's where capital punishment happens, died between mm -hmm. thieves uh, and, and uh, outside the gate, not in, yeah. not in the middle of the city. You know, everything about it is, it, it, it just dismantles the respectability of the church that mm -hmm. that somehow uh, isn't able to reach the very people that God came to die for most, right? right? Those that are really rejected by society. So yeah, I mean, th that story of mm -hmm. uh, God incarnating himself that way, I think is, is just, uh, that's, that's definitely gripped my heart. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. For me too. Yeah. I mean, for me that was also it was the Jesus of the cross, yeah, yeah. the Jesus who suffers with us, right, and whose suffering ha ultimately has power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's an important story to tell for our own people, for them yeah. to see this in print, even to say, "Look, you know, yeah. this is our story, and look at it. It's, you know, going out to the world." I think that's real. It's it it will have great power for both communities. Your book. Yeah. Well, I think together, I, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that we're both publishing uh, with, with the University <laughs> Press right. in, in that uh, the the organizing piece, yes. the faith-rooted organizing piece is so important because when you are rooted in a neighborhood trying mm -hmm. to do justice and trying to see not only individual lives change but uh, systems and communities, mm -hmm. Sometimes that, you, you got to push. You got to go and, beyond the neighborhood, right? Well, also. yeah, you've got to figure out how do you right. how do you bring people together to to lift up the story of injustice mm -hmm. and confront that, 
so that change can happen. And really lately I've been getting more and more convicted that there is an organic process that we have to follow with people yeah. of, first of all, they have to do what they can do mm -hmm. to change their neighborhood because that's the experience of the power of God in and through them. Absolutely. I, I, th I think that uh, for me, um, what I try to do is, is really be vulnerable about the struggle Mm. And this this idea of mm. you know moving into the neighborhood and living there for 25 years and doing the work and trying to be an agent of the kingdom, that it's come with a lot of failure. You know, it's come with a lot of pain. It's come with a lot of uh, of uh, you know cost in a sense. And right, it's of, not from glory to glory. Right, and it's not like I'm the great brown hope that came to the neighborhood to, to fix it. You know, right. it's you you come to be fixed yourself almost you know right. but but still that that kairos of god's moment mm -hmm. to bring people to a place of of um i don't want to say greater fame because it's not just that of mm -hmm. greater power in the best sense of the word mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. power of god yeah. to to address the powers and principalities yeah. in a way that a carpenter baby mm -hmm. you know is the savior of the world. Yeah. You know, people who come from the barrio, we can help change the world. And mm -hmm. that's, I think that if people read the books, that, mm -hmm. that that for people who already are in positions of power, yeah. to really see what our communities can contribute. And yeah. for people in our communities, my, my hope and prayer, when if they read our books, is to say, mm -hmm. si se puede, I can do that. God is in me, I can do that. The God yeah. of the we know so much when you talk about the cross i just kept thinking about you know as lutherans we celebrate the the um ancient you know festivals of the church so mm -hmm. our biggest worship day every year in the whole day year was ash wednesday mm -hmm. right. oh, yeah. because yeah. it's about death right and everybody knows about death yeah. in our yeah. community everybody yeah. knows about dying before your time mm -hmm. everybody knows yeah. intimately but when you can learn, when you can begin to see the death in our communities in the light of the cross, mm -hmm. then you begin to see hope. Yeah. Because the one who died on the cross is the one who rose. So mm. it's, you know, how can our communities <clears throat> understand the wideness, the depth and breadth and scope of that hope? And mm -hmm. I, it sounds like your book will take people through that journey. I hope so. Ojalá, primero Dios. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm.